We've got the inside scoop. The twist and turns and it's finally time to reveal the truth about Haley Deegan's unexpected switch to AM racing. Billy Venturini, a motorsports veteran, dropped some bombshells about the real forces steering Deegan's career. Are her sponsors and investors tying her hands? Is she in charge or is there more to the story? Buckle up for a wild ride of speculation, skepticism and behind the scenes chaos. Don't miss out on the inside scoop. Subscribe to our channel and hit that like button for more whereabouts on NASCAR. Guess who's shaking up the racing world? Thor Sport Racing just dropped a bombshell. They're waving goodbye to Haley Deegan after just one season with their Ford F-150 in the truck series. Now, that's a twist, right? Deegan isn't out of the game. No, she snagged a seat in the Xfinity series. Who saw that coming? So while we're all scratching our heads wondering who was snagging Deegan's spot at Thor Sport, the suspense was finally over. Thor Sport Racing spilled the beans and guess who's sliding into the driver's seat? None other than the 18-year-old speedster, Jake Garcia. Now let's talk about Garcia. This dude was tearing up the track with McAnally Hilgeman Racing in the 2023 Craftsman Truck Series, landing a respectable 13th place. Impressive, right? He's all pumped up about this new gig too. In a press release, Garcia spilled the beans saying, to have the chance to race for a championship organization like Thor Sport Racing is huge for me. I'm extremely excited about this opportunity and cannot wait to get the 2024 season started. Garcia was rocking the number 35 truck for McAnally Hilgeman Racing in 2023, except for the Daytona Speedway race where he couldn't rev his engines because he wasn't 18 yet. Despite that little speed bump, he managed to snag three top five finishes and nine top tens. Talk about making an entrance. The highlight of his season? A jaw-dropping runner-up finish at Phoenix Raceway. Now, we don't know the magic number on Garcia's truck yet, but here's a little tidbit. The folks at Quanta Services are jumping on board as his main backers. Now that's some exciting news for the racing world. Buckle up, folks. The 2024 season is about to get wild. Deegan is shifting gears to the Xfinity Series with AM Racing next year. October was a game changer for the 22-year-old, kicking off with her professional leap and wrapping up with exciting news of her engagement to longtime boyfriend, Chase Cabry. Talking about Deegan's journey in the truck series, it wasn't all smooth sailing. Despite the hype surrounding her as a rising star, the last three seasons were marked by hiccups and inconsistencies. Her dad, Brian Deegan, points fingers at the aggressive nature of the truck series, blaming it for her struggles. In a recent interview with Speedsport, he spills the beans saying, the truck series was pretty gnarly as far as how aggressive everyone races. It's tough to learn and her coming in at that time of year with the pandemic and just got so many fewer laps. Trying to learn how to drive and race in NASCAR with literally no practice. It was a tough hand to be dealt. But fear not, racing fans. Deegan is leaping back to cars and there's hope that the change in scenery will reignite her passion for high-speed racing, unlocking her true potential. With alliances shifting and new beginnings on the horizon, buckle up because the 2024 season is shaping up to be even more thrilling than the one that just sped by. Now, while some folks are popping the champagne over this career jump, not everyone is throwing confetti. Haley's former boss, Billy Venturini, the big wig at Venturini Motorsports in the Arkham Menard series, isn't exactly doing cartwheels. In an exclusive interview with Essentially Sports, he spilled the beans on his doubts about Deegan's move. Let's rewind a bit. Venturini, the seasoned owner, had Deegan under his wing for six races in the Arc Menard series back in 2019. However, Victory Lane wasn't on the agenda for Deegan during that stint. Now, as she gears up for the Xfinity series, Venturini, along with some others, is raising an eyebrow or two. The big question on the track is whether Deegan is truly ready for this major career shift. The racing world is buzzing with speculation and skepticism, and it looks like the upcoming season is gearing up to be quite the roller coaster. Haley Deegan, the talk of the NASCAR town, might be turning heads, but not everyone is giving her a standing ovation. Billy Venturini, the brains behind Venturini Motorsports, is throwing some shade, questioning Deegan's decision to jump from the truck series to the Xfinity series without ticking all the boxes. Deegan, with three full-time truck series seasons under her belt, hasn't exactly been burning rubber with success. No top five finishes and a best of sixth place at Talladega in Texas in 2022 and 2023. Clearly not a victory parade. Venturini, in an exclusive chat with Essentially Sports, didn't hold back. According to him, talent is one thing, but you've got to prove yourself at each level before climbing the ladder. 
Venturini laid it out, plain and simple, saying, I think Haley is a good driver. Think she has the talent to drive race cars, but you gotta be able to put complete races together. And I think you need to do that at the 200 lap ARCA races, then the 250 mile truck races, and then go to the 300 mile Xfinity races. But you have to have success at each level, in my opinion, before you move up. In other words, it's all about acing each stage of the game. Venturini isn't buying the idea that Deegan is making this jump out of desperation for cash. Venturini further said, if you're not contending for wins or winning races, I don't believe in that. Some do it because they don't have money to continue racing at the lower level. It's a little bit more of a desperation move, and you can almost understand that because they don't really have choices. But when they have choices, I feel like they're just skipping the process, and it ends up not being good. Now, while Venturini might not be throwing confetti at Deegan's move, he's also cutting her some slack. He believes the decision might not have been entirely hers to make. The seasoned maestro of motorsports is dropping some truth bombs about the behind-the-scenes action in racing. This veteran team owner, who practically lives and breathes racing, is shedding light on the puppet strings that often control a driver's career moves, and Haley Deegan might just be tangled up in them. Venturini spilled the beans on how sponsors and the bigwigs investing in a driver's journey hold a trump card in steering their career. In a nutshell, if the folks backrolling in Deegan's career want her in the Xfinity series, she's strapping in for that ride. According to Venturini, it's not always as simple as a driver saying, yes, I want to move up. There are external forces at play, and in the fast-paced world of motorsports, sometimes your choices are not entirely your own. In an exclusive interview with Essentially Sports, Venturini voiced his thoughts, saying, She probably doesn't have choices. When someone else is pushing your career, you can't tell them no. If the people funding her career want her to go to Xfinity Racing, she is going to Xfinity Racing. I don't know if she would say she chose to do that, or maybe she did. I'm a firm believer of you need to win at the level you're at and then move up. Now, Deegan has showcased her talent on the track, but Venturini is waving the caution flag, emphasizing the need for success at each level before making the leap. The big question mark hanging over Deegan's move to the Xfinity series is whether she's truly ready for the big leagues. Will Venturini's skepticism prove to be on the money, or will Deegan defy the odds and rev her way to success in the higher echelons of racing? The anticipation is electric, and we're all strapped in for the roller coaster ride that is the 2024 racing season. What are your thoughts on this high speed drama? Let us know. So, that's all we've got for today. We hope you enjoyed it. Tell us what you think of the video in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We hope to see you in the upcoming video.